Hello again. In this video, we will be discussing the WinTech Utility Manager. So let's get started. The Utility Manager is an external tool that's provided with the Easy Builder Pro Suite. You can do quite a different things with it. Uh, first thing you need to do is select the model that you want to use. Uh, we're doing the CMT series in this example. Uh, you have several tabs here from the design tab. You can launch Easy Builder Pro. You can do an on or offline simulation, or you can launch the Easy Address Viewer. Easy Address Viewer is a tool that we have that will let you view the memory layout of either your local HMI or your driver devices. Uh, you simply select the device you want to view and the memory layout will be displayed below. Uh, as I said, you can launch Easy Builder Pro or launch a simulation of a project that you do not have open. So it's a neat way to get through there without having to open the file in uh, Easy Builder Pro and then launch your simulation. We've got our analysis and testing tab. From here, you can launch Easy Watch. You could reboot your HMI or enable a pass-through. EasyWatch is a tool you can configure different HMIs and actually view the status of the registers within that HMI. You can open the HMI manager and add HMIs. Then you can add a driver the driver that you know is connected to that HMI. And then you can actually view the status of uh, registers that that HMI might be reading. So pretty, uh, pretty cool tool just to get a quick view of uh, what your registers are doing. Uh, from here, you can reboot an HMI. And I can see here locally that my HMI is rebooting. Or you can enable a pass-through. So uh, we're connected via Ethernet. And uh, so I can enter in my IP address here. And then you can enable your pass through for a COM port. Uh, actually, I do not have a serial device set up here at, uh, at the time, but this is how you would enable a serial pass-through and you would be able to get online with your native PLC software. Uh, you would be able to get online over your network through the HMI to your serial connection. We've got our Publish tab. Here you can upload or download projects without actually uh, opening an instance of Easy Builder Pro. A lot of OEMs might like to use this tool because they don't have to actually get into the project and open it up and take a chance of messing it up. We've got our maintenance tab. From here we can access our administrator tools. Uh, our CMT viewer. You can actually do firmware upgrades to the CMT IV5 series or do your CODASYS uh, firmware updates from here. Here we have our data conversion tab and um, our first selection here is the recipe editor. You can import uh, recipe records from projects that you have. 
and actually edit them or add new records uh, you can uh, actually export these to a new file Here we have our easy converter. This allows us to view our data files that were not saved in CSV format. Uh, down here I've got some data log files. You can select the dates that you want to view out of it. So here are all the, all the data that was logged in that file. And I can export that directly to CSV format. And then here you have all our samples. Pretty cool little tool. Now you can do a lot of these exports directly into CSV format, but, um, but your system will automatically back these up in the uh, data file format. Here we have our recipe editor. Here you can actually create recipes in the sense that you can define data to be stored in retentive memory. Uh, it should probably more properly be called a retentive memory editor. You can also create extended memory files for your project. Here I'm going to go ahead and, and open up one that I already made. And in this particular case, the memory we're using is register 100 to I think about 160. Now, here's where you define your data types. And in this example, I'm just doing um, strings in length and lengths of 10 words but you can add other data formats here if you wanted to but for this example I'm just going to stick with the strings and uh, you can see I've went ahead and uh, put some string data in these registers starting with register 100 to uh, 109 and then the next one's 110 to uh, 119 so on and so forth so uh, I could edit this in here if I wanted to and make changes here if I wanted to uh, I could also open this up in uh, Excel and edit edit the records that way So now when we go back to our Publish tab, uh, we can use our Download tool here. And uh, I've got a little 8050IE connected. So we want to write to um, our RW registers. And we find our file here that we created or modified earlier but before I download I want to show you here on the local screen these are uh, these registers RW 100 to 109 110 to 119 so on and so forth so I'm going to set that aside and then go ahead and download our data Now we're all finished and you can see here now that we did a reboot uh, here's our our data that was passed through to our registers 
going back to our little project here I'm gonna go ahead and add a numeric input object and I'm gonna address it to extended memory 0 EM0 register 0 and just put this here Now, as I said before, we can use the recipe editor to create extended memory files. So I'm going to do a new one here. And I'm going to change the data format to 16-bit unsigned. and click OK. And I want to put a value of, let's say, 500 in this register. And we want to go ahead and save it. And I'm saving it to a flash drive. Now this is the important thing. This file needs to be named the same as the memory extension for the extended memory. So, as we did EM0, we need to call this file EM0.EMI. Save. Now we can close all this out. Now I'll bring our CMT viewer back up. And I'm going to go ahead and plug the flash drive into the local unit and as you can see now it's reading the value the utility manager is a very handy external tool allows you to do quite a few things uh, without having to get into easy builder pro and some things you can't do in Easy Builder Pro. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.